I know it looks like wood veneer, but it's not. I was a little skeptical until I used it on a project for a customer last week. It's called True Flat Laser Plywood, today on LaserNug. Welcome back. So I picked up the six pack on this. It's called True Flat Pre-Finished Laser Plywood. Apparently it's guaranteed flat. It comes in six different finishes, maple, oak, walnut, black, white, and linen. It's like craft plywood, except that the veneer on the top and the bottom are not wood. It's an engineered veneer, but one of the benefits is it's pre-finished with an acrylic finish on it. And it's good both sides. It comes in three millimeter or one eighth inch thickness, and it's made specifically for CNC or lasers. So I'm going to get you my settings first, and then we're going to just try to do a simple engrave and a cut on the true flat, and we're going to check on a few things. Let's get at it. So here in Lightburn, we're going to jump down to my material library. I've got my true flat setting set in there already. My engrave setting is 500 millimeters per second, 50 and 50 percent power, no air, fill mode at 400 lines per inch, one pass. My cut settings, 10 millimeters per second, 75 and 75 percent power, high air, one pass, line mode. So let's grab the logo from my other channel. I like using these logos or this one in particular because whenever I'm testing settings I've got some areas here such as the stitching that's really small for engraving I've got larger engrave areas here around the GP, and I've got thicker letters and smaller letters as well as different shapes and lines. So I can see what the difference or how the material performs, whether it's a larger engraved area or a smaller engraved area. And then we've got a cut line across that. I've already loaded my settings, so I think we're good to go. Well. It definitely lays flat. I don't need any lay flat pins on this piece. And I've had this sitting on my shelf for about three months now. I'm gonna autofocus. Set my origin. Let's frame it. Okay, let's run the job. Because it's got that acrylic finish on it, one of the benefits of the product that they boast is that you don't need to mask when you laser because it should just wipe right off with a rag with water. And we're just so I've got a damp rag, just water. Jeez, well, I'll be darned. Isn't that true? Look at that. That's kind of nice. Flip the light on. There we go. That's better. There you have it. Clean up with water. That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all.
We take a look at that. We've got a nice consistent engrave in there, so that's a consistent MDF core. So I'll give them a check mark for that. As you look across all the different letters and the small pieces, as well as the larger engrave areas, they're consistent. That's clean. And more importantly, I didn't have to mask it, and I don't need to use any type of a solution to clean off all the soiling or the debris after the engrave. Isn't that something? Nice, clean, crisp cuts. Consistent. That's because of those fine settings I just gave you. <laughs> but yeah, geez, as advertised. And it's flat. No need for the lay flat pins on this piece. So let's talk about some of the other testing I've done before I did this video today. As I mentioned, this is three mil in thickness. It's guaranteed flat. And similar to most craft boards, it keeps its shape. The difference is there is no wood veneer on here. So I've had this for three months on my shelf. And to be quite honest, when you've got thinner plywoods, you'll find that not only will they sometimes crowd, especially in a humid environment, such as my garage here, but they'll also twist or warp. And we've done a video on that about three or four months ago. But this stuff has been there for a few months and it is pretty much flat. I took a look on their website and they don't guarantee it to be perfectly flat as in a zero degree, you know, flat. But there is a tolerance and that tolerance is guaranteed to be a better tolerance than you'll see on other types of plywoods. So that's a check mark. Does it laser clean? It absolutely does. One of the nice things about this man-made finish and this acrylic finish on top is you're not going to get any chipping or any potential splintering like you will with a wood veneer. And depending on the quality of your plywoods and where you've cut it, you've probably found the same thing I have is that every once in a while, you know, your laser or your CNC catches the edge of that plywood or that wood veneer on top and you might get tiny little bits of splintering that occur or chipping around your design and that's just it's the nature of wood as consistent as it might be you find that from time to time that finish is a nice clean cut and a nice clean engrave all of your lines are clean and crisp and there is absolutely no splintering on there at all and this is about the sixth time i've used it including a big project i just finished the other day and shipped off to the u.s it worked and performed perfectly cleanup no need to sand, rag and water, and you can take off any of that debris or that dust. It comes off that easy. You saw me. Another benefit to this product that I find is it's good and finished on both sides, not just one. Usually at the same price point, when you're buying your plywoods or your craft plywoods from a good premium supplier, I get mine from KJP Select Hardwoods up in Ottawa here in Ontario. They've got great products. But usually you pay a different price whether you have good one side or you're buying good two-sided craft plywood or regular Baltic birch or any types of plywoods. And what that means is you've got one side that is guaranteed to be defect free. The other side might have patches in it possibly. This stuff is good both sides. It's finished on both sides. And again, it has a very consistent MDF core, which is pretty important. So it's very similar in those respects to a good quality craft plywood. From a price perspective, I'm paying the same price for the same size sheet for true flat versus a good one side craft plywood. A few things to consider though that I did find in my testing. You can certainly paint fill it, but you have to mask it. It does boast that you don't need to mask it and it's great for paint fills, but I've tested this now with both your laser dark as well as the rust-oleum which I usually use and as you can see here from my samples you can't get it all off uh, even though I did it immediately after I sprayed it doesn't come off even if I try to use some kind of a cleaner such as the clean plus for lasers you can't get it off so unless perhaps you're using an acrylic based which I don't use maybe that comes off with a wipe but in order to get my paint fills, I had to mask it. And because it's already pre-finished with acrylic, you've got to make sure you've got that mask down, squeegeed right down nice and tight to the material so that it doesn't lift on you. This brings me to another benefit though. No bleeding, because there's no wood grain on this product to bleed. 
So unlike regular wood veneered products, when you paint fill, you quite often will get tiny bits of what I call bleeding. In other words, the paint will kind of catch the edge of the grain of the wood and maybe leak into it a little bit outside of your, your engrave lines. No leaking whatsoever, no bleeding of your paint because there's no grain to bleed into. So that's a big positive for this stuff. So at the end of the day, I got to give it two thumbs up. It's a great material to work with on your laser. And now that I found a use for it and just used it on my first sign project for this customer and it turned out beautifully, I'm going to start using it in other backgrounds or for different, you know, types of ornaments or any types of art, shadow boxes, any types of things you do currently with plywood that you've got to finish. This might be a great substitute. And best of all, I've just found out yesterday it's made in Canada. <laughs> nice. Thanks for sticking around with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope it was helpful. If you haven't given this stuff a try, True Flat Laser Plywood. They've got a website as well as some distributors in Canada and the US and probably elsewhere. Have fun with your laser this week. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.